Let's continue on to work on the placement of order. What has left is to add coupons in case we have one. And as it stands right now, there is no way an admin can create coupons because we haven't implemented that. But to have complete placement of order, we are going to create the coupons at the back end. So first of all, let's get back to the API, which is coupons and pass in the coupon code, the discount. Let me change this one to, let's say 50%. And then the starting date and the ending date. So let me change this one to new year sale. And let me create. All right, the coupon has been created. So I'm going to use this one when I'm placing the order. All right, so before we can get it, unless we create an action to fetch all these coupons. So let's get back to Visual Studio Code and inside SRC Redux slices, we are going to create one for coupons. And we can duplicate one of these. So let me copy this, that's for brand. And inside the slice, I'm going to create one folder called coupons. And I'm going to name the file as coupons slice. Let me get back to the categories and let me copy this. And inside the coupon slice, let me paste that. The difference here is going to be the endpoint and the payload and the initial state. So let's change this one to coupons. And here as coupon and let me use now for this it doesn't change anything and the rest will be the same then the action type is gonna be coupon and create and here we pass in the token upon creation and here change this one to coupons and for the coupon, we need to pass in the code. So let's check at the back end, the payload that we need. We need the code discount and start date and end date. So I'm going to destructure it from here as the code, the discount, then the start date, and then the end date. So we are going to pass this one to the request as that. And that is it. So this one going to be fetching all coupons. So we're going to be as fetch coupons. And here as coupons. And let me use dash in front of it. So this one going to be create coupon and yeah that is it guys so let's go ahead and handle it inside the slice so here is going to be coupons and let's change the action to use create coupon where i need to rename this one to create coupon and fetch coupons. Let's change this one to create coupon. The property here is going to be coupon and the rest will be the same. And for rejected coupon here is going to be null and we have the error as action.payload and this one going to be fetch coupons and change this one to coupons. Yeah. And for the reset error actions, let's bring in those actions. I think we have it up here. Yeah, we have it already. So last step is let's generate the reducer. So this is going to be as coupons reducer and change this one to coupons slice 
Great. So let's get back to store and let's mount it. So let's bring in the coupons reducer and here as coupons, and then the coupons reducer. So let's check the dev2 extension. If we're going to have coupons here and indeed we have the coupon. All right, so the next video, we are going to dispatch the action inside the shopping cart. Then when a user click on apply, we are going to make a request to find the coupon and apply it to the total price accordingly. Let's continue in the next video.